How's it going guys? I'm Dionysius and welcome to this episode of Siege Strats, a series where I will give you beginner strategies on how to attack in Rainbow Six Siege. My hope is that this new series will help newer players get a better grasp on one of the tougher aspects of the game and possibly even help more experienced players who are stalled out. This video we're going to be looking at attacking the cash bomb site of the cash CCTV defense on Clubhouse. Your end objective in this strategy is going to be opening this wall, the west wall into cash and planting inside the breach. This will be a much tougher strategy to pull off as this is arguably the most defensible site on the map, but with some map prep we should be able to hold down the cash room well enough to stick a plant and win, so let's jump right into it. Firstly, there are three operators we're going to focus on for this strategy. A hard breacher for the cash wall, so we see Thermite coming back into the fray. A hard breacher for the CCTV balcony wall, Hibana. In particular, Hibana is great here as we only need to open a small amount of it. And some defensive utility denial in Thatcher. This is going to be vital as we are making the very safe assumption that they will deny the CCTV balcony wall and possibly the cash wall as well. The other two operators are entirely up to choice. But what can be helpful is someone with a good gun to get some kills on the eastern staircase flank, and someone with smoke grenades to assist in covering the plant. Montaigne can be fantastic in this role. The key setup for these operators is that you need Thermite to have a Claymore, and Thatcher to have breaching charges. All will become clear on this soon. The first thing you need to do in this strategy is get some map control. Specifically, you need to lock down the bedroom and construction side of the second floor. You can enter through a number of avenues, into the hatch into the office, the windows into bedroom or gym, or the jacuzzi balcony wall, but it is vital that you are working with your team to drone ahead and flush out roamers. Once in, you want to use Thermite's Claymore in the office doorway to cut off the main stairs rotation. It may not kill anyone flanking, but it can at least give you an early warning when they shoot it. Next you want to open the left hand panel from the office into construction using Thatcher's breaching charge. This will give you a nice angle onto the cash site doorway for if anyone pushes through to contest the thermite. Then you want Thatcher to use an EMP grenade on the cash wall if required so that thermite can open it. You will also, either before or after this stage, need Thatcher to use an EMP grenade on the CCTV balcony so that Havana can use her ex-Kairos pellets to open the right hand side of the CCTV wall. This will cut off the rotation between the two sites and force the defenders either into cache and a more exposed position or into garage. You can hold this angle either on repel to the right of the breach or even better on repel at the edge of the balcony. This way you only really need to open the lower portion of the wall, though it is always worth opening enough to move through just in case things go wrong. If the defenders push back into the stairway corridor after the breach, you should be able to kill them or clear them out using your fifth flanking operator coming up the east stairwell. Next, Thermite needs to open up the right hand panel of the cache wall. Once open, this hole can easily be held for a longer angle into sight from bedroom doorway. With these positions held, you should be able to force the defenders to fall back from the cache side of the defensive site and be ready for the execute. Once cash is clear to plant, you will want to push your crossfire from office up to the cash doorway or the half wall to defend. This will be a tougher plant than the church site and leaves you a little exposed, but with the angles you have covered, you should be able to stick the plant. It's worth mentioning that you will probably want to try and keep this window closed as best as you can, because this does leave you quite exposed for a run out and a kill through the window if you leave it open. Crouch walk into the breach and plant immediately on the breach so it is barely inside the room. Any defenders will need to push up on you to get the kill and stop the plant, but with the cover from CCTV balcony and cash door, you should be able to get the diffuser down safely. It may be worth as well if you have them covering the plant with smoke grenades or even a montane to give a bit more protection. Then it's time to fall back to safer positions for the post plant. Once the plant is down, you can push back into the angles from office through the wall into cash doorway and into bedroom door to hold the diffuser from there. You should hopefully still have Hibana to cover anybody crossing over CCTV, so your biggest worries are if they have a rotation hole from the east stairs or if they are on a long flank through bedroom. 
It's also possible to hold the diffuser from downstairs in stock and shoot through the floor below onto anybody trying to disable it. The benefit of planting in such an exposed breach is that if someone tries to disable they are also in a very exposed position and it gives you a very easy kill and round win. So thanks for watching guys, I hope this video was helpful and if you have any additions to this strategy or any comments about how effective it was for you, feel free to leave a comment below and of course, like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and to hear about the next Siege Strats video as soon as it drops. Next video we'll be moving on to a different map, so leave your suggestions for what map you would like to see in the comments below. Now go and win some rounds and I'll see you in the next one.